It's the third day of, of training. We started on Wednesday with a physical test where we could see the level of everyone individual. Um, first, it would be very helpful for us to know the first or the date of the first game because then we can plan uh, like we should plan because now everything is in the air so you don't know if we're gonna start 6, 14 or, or whatever so it's difficult to plan but uh, in our head there are three periods there's a period of long endurance there's a period of mid endurance and there's a period of high intensity and sprint so we're still in the first part of the preparation that's the long endurance I think you could see you could see on training today that it was uh, long distances with a slow tempo but always moving always uh, uh, being on, on uh, uh, running so that's our first part uh, before we go to the next part uh, there's uh, still two days to go so on Monday we will go to the second part I really hope we can start in the weekend of 14 because that will give every team uh, enough time to to touch all the components you need in physical but also in technical and tactical ways to prepare your team for the first game that's where we are that's where we heading to uh, until now everyone is fit we only have one small um, sickness that's Rashidi who's feeling a little bit of uh, weakness uh, so he's a little bit sick I think it's fever nothing severe and we still have our guys outside that's Chama Kahata Chibup Shibup will be a difficult case because Sudan is very locked down, in a very deep lockdown. I think Chama Kahata will come uh, faster uh, in the beginning of next week. But we don't have a fixed date yet. It's still yeah, open. Uh, see what the borders can do, see what flights are restarting. So we are depending on uh, things not in our control to have them back. Ajibo, that's another uh, part he was late on the first day so we will introduce him Monday on, on training again if everything goes well uh, oh that's what you mean um, no because you cannot do double sessions every day um, double or single sessions depend on the intensity uh, if you have one session per day you can have uh, uh, let's say your load is 10 then if you have two sessions you will divide your same load into two sessions so today we will have two uh, tomorrow one Sunday one and then we go back on Monday probably for two uh, but if we train once then the intensity will be higher than when we train twice a day also when you train twice there will be also a te tactical technical training in the I advise him to take an example for uh, for some other players uh, let's let's take the, the example of uh, Manula he also had a family issue yesterday we made arrangements with him and when you keep you to that it's not a problem then I'm not the guy who will t uh, will take you out of the family not helping or not possible to help your family I'm also human but if you make arrangements and then you always want to take an extra hour an extra two hours an extra day and it's not the first time then you get problems so uh, I'm human players are human I want to make arrangements with them and if we keep both sides us to the arrangements I don't have a problem to give some freedom and to give some open uh, timetables but uh, it has to come from both sides and I think that's what he has to learn it's not a single way it's a two-way street um, I have I must say I expected worse after two months so that means uh, most of the guys were doing maybe not exactly what we were asking to do because it's not always possible uh, we had a, an individual program on the on the on the, on the, uh, on the road or on the beach some are not always able to do it but at least uh, they did a good job and in general uh, I'm not disappointed about the level we found when we started training again so it's not what where we should be but that's impossible after two months of no games and no high intensity trainings but at least I, everyone was doing uh, a basic job and when they came back it was decent.